ever wondered what a dietitian actually eats, then today is your lucky day because I am going to show you. Now before we get started, if you are new to my channel, my name is Sarah and I am a registered dietitian. And if you want more info about healthy eating, nutrition, get your nutrition questions answered, all that kind of stuff, make sure you click that subscribe button because that's exactly what I do on this channel all the time, plus some healthy lifestyle stuff thrown in. So new videos every Tuesday and Thursday just for you. And I think if you like this video, then you'll definitely like the other stuff on my channel. Now I did one of these what I eat in a day type of videos in the winter time and everyone really seemed to like it. So I thought I would do another one. Now this one I'm doing late spring because in the early spring, it really wasn't that different from what I was doing in the winter because we didn't have a ton of great spring produce. Yet. But now the produce is rocking. We got all this great stuff and my diet has definitely kind of switched over into spring mode. Um, so I'm showing you a day from last week, everything I ate. And I really try to keep these real for y'all. I'm not making stuff up. I'm not, you know, keeping stuff out or hiding things or whatever. This is really what I ate on this day. Now, obviously no two days are the same, but I think this is pretty representative of how I would eat on a normal day. So let's get into everything I ate and then I'll meet you back here when when it's done. Okay, so starting off with breakfast, I always like to start my day with a glass of water and I use these pint and a half straight side mason jars. They're my fave, so I start with that and then I move on to real breakfast. So I'm having the organic grass-fed yogurt from Maple Hill Creamery, just plain. And then this day I decide to add in some cherries. I've been doing this a lot. So these are frozen cherries that I thawed in the microwave so that they have some like ice crystals. That's what those little specks are all over them. They're not dirty, I promise. Um, but I thawed those out in the little ramekin and then I just add those in to my yogurt. Um, you got to be a little careful that you don't get the little juice drips everywhere because that can be messy. Um, and then I add in some raw almonds just to mix things up a little bit. I like that because it adds some protein and a little bit of crunch and it's all super yummy. The almonds and the cherries are a great combo. And then I like to stir it all together um, to mix it throughout and some of those cherry juices kind of release and mix in with the yogurt and it's all like this beautiful pink color and it's delicious. Then on to lunchtime. Lunch for me is usually leftovers from last night's dinner. So today that was this asparagus frittata and this is actually one of my own recipes. So I will link it for you if you want to make it yourself. It's super good. Asparagus are one of my favorite things and frittatas are quick and easy and delicious. And then we also had some roasted potatoes with garlic powder, paprika, cayenne, salt, all that kind of stuff. And I had a leftover whole wheat biscuit that I had made. So with this meal, there aren't a lot of obvious veggies on the plate, but there's a ton of asparagus and onion and all kinds of yumminess packed into that frittata. Then on to snack time, I decided I wanted a nice coffee because, you know, it's getting kind of warm and that's good. So I brewed my coffee into this measuring cup and then added in my sweetener of choice, which is maple syrup. And for this, I used one of these little, you know, just spoons and I do about a spoonful in there, mix it in. And then for milk, I'm using the Trickling Springs Organic Pastured Milk. And uh, this is like a regional dairy, so they're really good. And then I put it in the freezer to cool it down a little bit and then added it into my cup with some ice. And this is an Ello tumbler. You can get them at Target. Um, they have some new colors this year, which I have picked up a couple of those. They're awesome and perfect for ice drinks. And of course, you know, kitties gotta be kitties and come inspect whatever you're doing and it looks like Porngy approves of this iced coffee and she's super cute while she's doing it and then I also had a banana for snack you might call this rotten I would call it ripe uh, we can agree to disagree on that and then I also had some strawberries but I forgot to film those and then for dinner this is where the lighting isn't as good because it's dark outside but we had pizza and I like to put pizza on the meal plan usually once a week we don't always have it once a week but I put it on there at least. Um, and this is a whole wheat crust, a homemade tomato sauce, some organic mozzarella cheese, and then some Jean Flamme tomatoes. And these are tomatoes that we grew in the garden a couple years ago. I had roasted them up and frozen them for this specific purpose. So I pulled those out, thawed them out, and put them on top. So delicious. Um, and then this was the final plate. I had a slice of pizza and then a salad with some homemade balsamic. And I actually ended up getting another piece of pizza after I ate this because I was still hungry. But that is how I finished out the night.
So that's everything that I ate on that day. And if you want to see more of what I'm eating on a consistent basis, either because you're nosy or you want some meal inspiration and you're not following me on Instagram already, make sure that you follow me there because I'm always posting food pics, what I'm doing, plus farmer's market hauls, some peeks at what's going on in the garden, all that kind of fun stuff. So it's a really great resource for you over there on Instagram. And let me know if you want me to make more of these videos. Would you like to see kind of a peak summer version of what I eat in the day? We should have a lot of good stuff coming out of the garden and lots of tomatoes, which are my favorite. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. I really hope you like this video. And if you're new here and you want more healthy eating tips, nutrition info, and healthy recipes, make sure that you subscribe because eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle really doesn't have to be complicated. And I want to show you how to do it. And if you're loving the free info here, but you're finding that you need something more personalized, don't forget that I do offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition sessions. So if you're interested in working with me, then just let me know and we can get that set up for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you next time.